Hi, John again, with a setup video showing the nozzle calibration procedures used on the SMT-550. You will need to prepare a test board with a piece of white paper taped onto it that is at least 8 by 5 inches, and place the red ink blotter open on top of the high-def camera. You will also need to set up two tables before beginning one that has the distance the nozzle needs to descend to touch the paper, and the other one how far it needs to go to touch the ink pad. All four nozzles need to be set. They should all end up with similar values. The red Gen All Poke, or Gen All Ink Height buttons, will take the value used by the first nozzle and extrapolate the values needed for the others. The calibration routine uses the test heads and the re red ink to print a pattern of dots on the paper. You'll notice that each head repeatedly prints the same location several times. This takes into account any X, Y, or Z rotation differences in the different passes going back and forth. If you look closely at the paper, you should see nice round circles and not fuzzy blobs. When the printing phase completes, click on the top left box under Check Center to move the camera to the first dot, and then set the scan range and threshold values to 35 and 220. Then press the green Auto Confirm button. The calibration routine uses the down-looking mark camera to find the center of each imprint and extrapolates the distance between the nozzles and the camera locations. As with the camera calibration, this should be an infrequent operation. It does need to be done at least once when the machine is installed in case things shifted during shipping from the factory. 